Uh, here we are, Myrtle's Plantation, RV Adventure TV. Going to one of the older plantations in Louisiana. You gotta come check this out with a paddy wagon and life in serenity. It's gonna be a good day. So you come through the driveway, you're going to park in any of the parking spots on your left and come up here and you come up, up by the house to the general store, it's where tours, uh, you come in and check in. So it doesn't really tell you where to go to, to start the tours, but you'll find your way in. So let's go in the general store. Inside the gift shop, old timey tin ceilings. <laughs> Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Don't. No. Stop dreaming to live. Live the dream. Make really good choices. <laughs> <laughs> you notice know, most of the doors here go from floor all the way to ceiling back in the day. No air conditioning, so you had to have air moving through these. All these windows here will open all the way up, allowing air to come through. Storm shutters. Yeah. Old time big ten foot porches. Columns from long ago. Ornamental ironworks. We're going to take a tour. They won't allow uh, video and stuff inside. We'll make sure you come and visit them. But look at the old time knobs and stuff. I can remember some of these. So this is the bed and breakfast. You can actually come in here and stay overnight at this facility. It looks like somebody's going to be having a wedding. Handicap friendly, wheelchair friendly. Just beautiful, it's a beautiful day today. This would be, uh, actually, April 1st is when we're filming this, 2017. Just had a good storm come through a couple days ago, so the humidity's really low now. But just think back in the days when people from all around came out here to sit have little parties, little get-togethers. The grounds are really nice. Spanish moss up in the trees. The Myrtles Plantation, St. Francisville, Louisiana. Get you some more details of it. Here in a little bit. Oh, that we're about to come in. Okay, no audio or video recording is allowed in the house. No food or drink, so y'all have none of that. Um, no touching the furniture, it's all antiques. We ask that please no one touch the furniture um, or uh, any of the items that are located on the tables. Um, we have about 20 to 30 percent of the original furnishings that belong to the Sterlings or in this house. But we also have the house is filled with antiques. Even if they're not of the Sterlings and the uh, uh, Bradfords and the Woodrows, they are antiques in the sun. 
We ask that, uh, if you notice, we already have enough windows and doors, so if you feel nervous about coming or trying to get out of the house, if something makes you want to leave, let me know. Do not make another window or door. We don't need other windows or doors. <laughs> okay? And That's for you, um, mm -hmm. um, as far as that, we are about to enter into the house. Welcome to the Myrtles. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh. All right, here we are. That's the Myrtles going to uh, go inside and enjoy the tour. There's another one of these events on the road, RVing. We may see a ghost. And here comes Rebecca. Hang on. You notice here, you can see it uh, really from an angle, the woman's face and profile, and she's looking out at the courtyard. They're claw marks. Some look like the claw marks are holding her in, some look like she's trying to get out. On the other side are little prints, like feet and handprints of children. And they're going down the, the streets. Some people take pictures and they come out looking red, like blood. Other people, it just looks like the tears of those who are trapped inside. Pull over and they were walking to the front. And they go, well, the lady over there is, I'm supposed to go over there. And I'm like, no, you need to come here. And, and another tour guide was coming out. She's in cops. And what was that lady? I said, no, ma'am. She would not have been there. We just got done with the tour, and we were in the last room. And all of a sudden, um, Lisa's phone chirps at an odd time. Uh, she's got one of those watches that works with your phone. But at 10.50 a.m. in the morning, for whatever reason, they, she was talking about the two children that were photographed in a tree and her phone at the same time chirped twice Mickey Mouse and her phone she says has never done that before so that was very weird right at the end of the tour the myrtles so all these cottages you see here on the grounds you can stay here some of them hold up to and around six people for overnight. <coughs> Great little area to walk out, feed the ducks. Great place to take a day, leisurely, casually. We got here about 9.30, 10 o'clock. So you could spend two to three hours here without a problem. It's best in Louisiana to come during the morning hours, it's cooler. Look at this live oak, done fell down. The 125 years old and it fell out. So much of this was damaged during Gustav. Alright, we all stopped after the Myrtles. We're going to have a refreshing uh, libation. And we're stopped at the Magnolia Cafe. Uh, I believe we're going to try some alligator bites, fried alligator bites, and some spinach artichoke dip for uh, appetizers. And then everybody's going to order what they want. So, $8 gets you an appetizer. Sandwiches are about $8. So, Really good price and it was highly recommended. So that's the Magnolia Cafe in St. Francisville, Louisiana. Enjoying good times with good friends. All right, so we're gonna try a little artichoke dip and some fried crawfish. Fried alligator. Or alligator. 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 Southern food. And we're having a few beers.